It's time for another pop day with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Day. Mumbles and Dancer Pop Day. On today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Day, we're talking about water safety with your dog, whether it be ocean, river, whatever it is. We want to make sure that your dog can stay safe when near bodies of water. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get into this. So guys, now today we are talking about dogs and water safety. Guys, in my last video, I mentioned some dogs can't swim. And it got me to thinking that, you know, it is summertime. People might want to go to the lake or the beach or wherever. And you need to know safety tips for your dog when you're at those bodies of water so nothing happens to your four-legged friend. So today, I'm bringing you some tips so that you can keep your dog safe near any body of water. So guys, my first tip today is when going around any body of water, make sure your dog knows how to swim. Again, I cannot stress enough that while it may seem like every dog should know how to swim, not every dog does. Now you can help teach them this. It works better if you try to teach them this when they are younger. But what you basically want to do is get them into a shallow body of water, one where they can hopefully stand and not have any stress. Once you get them in that body of water, take them out a little bit deeper, and then simply help by holding up their legs, their back legs, so they learn that they can float while they're paddling their front leg. Very simple, very easy, but you're gonna wanna do this at calm times and you're gonna wanna make sure to take it slow. So if you have to teach your dog, that is how you do it. Now my second tip today is no matter the size of body of water, no matter what, how good of a swimmer your dog is, if you're going out, whether it be to the beach or a lake or a river or whatever it is, make sure your dog wears a life vest. Even the best swimming dog can have a problem, can get tired, can drown. Make sure your dog wears a life vest. My third tip today is do not let your dog drink ocean water, lake water, river water, any kind of water. Guys, while it may seem like it looks clean to you and me, having your dog drink water from a body of water is not a good idea because there can be a lot of different uh, algaes and chemicals and all different kinds of things that you can't see. Just like you want to boil any type of water that you get from the wilderness, you're going to want to do the same thing with your dog. Better yet, get them some drinking water to be good to go. The fourth tip today is whether it be in the ocean, the river, or whatever, make sure that you are aware of currents. Do not let your dog get into a river, ocean, body of water that has a large current because it is easy for a dog to get swept up under it and unfortunately drown. So be very careful, be very aware of the currents that are in the lake, river, ocean, whatever. Just be very aware of them. Try to keep your dog away from them. Wear a leash on your dog if need be so that you can pull them out of that current should worst case scenario happen. My fifth tip today is if you're someone who's gonna be out on the river or out on the lake or in the ocean a lot with your dog, you may want to consider learning doggy CPR, canine CPR. Guys, if your dog gets too much water or can't breathe and you have to perform CPR, you'll know how to do it. The basic idea is very simple. You lay them on their side, you, you pump on their chest, you give them breath through their nose. But obviously, I'm no expert on it, so you may want to get more uh, someone that is more experienced in doing something like that to tell you how to do that. But that's the basic idea of it and it is not a bad skill to have if you're gonna be around water a lot. So guys, our sixth and final tip today is make sure to wipe your dog and rinse them off after they have been in any of these bodies of water. Whether your dog swam through chlorine in the pool in your backyard or algae in the river or salt in the sea, you're gonna to wanna to wash them off so they don't get itchy and scratchy or they don't have any lasting effects on their coat and skin. It's very simple, just wash them off and they'll be good to go but you wanna make sure and be aware to do that. You're also gonna wait and make sure to get any water that is in their ears out and make sure their ears are nice and dry so that they do not get any kind of ear infection. Guys, these are my tips today to help you keep your dog safe in any body of water. Please be careful out there, be safe, and use your brain when you go out on the river, lake, boat, whatever it is. Just be safe with your dog and try to follow these tips to help you. Now guys, I'm gonna go get the answer for the next section of our video. So guys, now it's time for our favorite section, our puppy and play, where you get to see the cute little dancer have all sorts of fun. And here he is. Anyways, 
Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles and Dance Pup Dates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons. I'm going to go lay Mr. Dancer down because he is a very tired boy. Anyways, guys, this is Mumbles and Dancer signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.